Hello everyone, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be joining you again on the Reverse Confetti YouTube channel. Today I am working off of this picture, which is an inspiration picture for the Inspiration Station. And I made a Mother's Day card, a very early Mother's Day card with it. Now this is a layering stamp set. This is the Sending Smiles stamp set from Reverse Confetti, which was released just uh, this week, which is one of my favorite sets. It's so, so beautiful and it's really easy to use as well. Now I am making it even easier. I am using this hack from Jennifer McGuire. This is just die cutting um, a scrap piece of cardstock with the coordinating dies. And then you can uh, lay in your already die cut pieces and that makes it really easy to do some repeat pattern stamping on there. Um, sorry, layering stamping. I'm not doing pattern stamping. <laughs> I'm using Versamark ink for this first layer, which is just the outline. And I'm stamping that onto colored cardstock. So I'm using yellow for the flowers and I'm using green for the leaves. And I am using white embossing powder for the outline. Now this stamp set also comes with a layer that fills in the petals completely and the leaves completely. Um, and you can absolutely do that, but this was a look I liked, um, just the colored cardstock with that white embossed outline on it, and it saves me from uh, stamping that second layer. Now I am going to stamp the detail layers uh, later when I'm done embossing. So you can see that I leave everything in the jig while I sprinkle on the embossing powder and while I heat set it, and that saves my fingers from burning. <laughs> For the detail layers, I just used some colored ink that was um, quite a bit darker than my colored cardstock, but it was still in the same color family. So for the yellow, I did go for orange to get a really clear impression there. Um, and then I went for an even darker orange for that detail stamp in the middle, in the center of the flower. So working with this stamp set onto colored cardstock saved me a ton of time and it gave me a ton of flowers in the end. Now for my background, you, you could see that the bright blue sky in that photograph I was working off of um, was slightly darker towards the edges of the photograph. Um, I'm not sure if that was just an effect of the picture or just what the sky actually looked like, but I really liked that darker look towards the edges, so I did that with some ink blending. Now another thing on the picture is some white some white details, but those are actually flowers, just tiny buds of flowers. I didn't want to add more flowers to this. I just wanted some white in this uh, background to make it a little bit more interesting. And I just used some white or well silver metallic watercolor paint to splatter that on. And once the background was dry, I could just fuss with my flowers and my leaves for a little bit. I cut some leaves apart so I could play around with them a little bit more. And I just arranged them how I wanted them to be. And once I was happy with the arrangement, I took a piece of press and seal and I just pressed that over it really well. So you can see I'm rubbing over all the bits that I want to adhere to that press and seal or temporarily adhere at least because you just really want things to stick when you're using this. Um, I mean, that's the goal of using it, right? Now I put this back on my card just for a little bit because you can see I have some pieces that are hanging over the edge. So I took a marker that would work on, on plastic, which is basically what press and seal is. And I just made a tiny mark where I knew where to cut. And then I will take that entire piece with the press and seal and all to my paper trimmer, my tiny paper trimmer. And that mark is enough for me. You can't really see it on camera, but it was enough to line up that piece of flowers and just trim off all of the bits that, uh, that that wouldn't fit on my card. I am going to use those cut off flowers later. Um, I wanted to use them right then, but <laughs> I'm waiting just to like cut that last edge off. And the second black mark was actually 
extended over that leaf on top of the plastic so I could see it even when I turned the plastic around. And yeah, I'm just putting those last bits of flowers on that present seal and just having everything nicely together makes it really easy to handle this and I will adhere everything together as well. So I'm just adhering the overlapping pieces roughly. I don't think I put glue after or behind every single piece, um, just where I knew they would overlap, where I had space to put the glue down. And I'm not being careful with this at all. The back of this was so messy and that's not a problem because no one is going to see it. And this is also not the only thing I'm going to use to adhere everything together. To make it a little bit more stable, I cut a couple of more couple more flowers from scrap pieces of white cardstock, and I glued those to the back of those flowers as well. And that just makes everything a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more stable. Um, I didn't use that for a dimension because that would have been very bumpy. <laughs> So I just used two layers of foam tape to back this. I really love my dimension and this gave me just enough of it. <laughs> I am gluing that blue cardstock down on top of my white note card. This is my background. I don't know why I just called it a piece of blue cardstock. <laughs> and then I am putting the flowers on top of there. So I pulled off all of the backings and this makes it super easy to adhere all those flowers down on your card at once. You do have to be a little bit careful when you're peeling off that present seal. It is not super gentle on paper. It's not the worst either, but you do want to be a little bit careful. Just pull it away slowly. For my sentiment, I used the Layered Mom um, sentiment die. It is from a die set that I totally forgot the name of, but was also part of this latest March release. Now I cut the same layer. I am not using the actual shadow layer die, but I cut the same layer a couple of times and I am using the blue one, which I also darkened up with some ink as a shadow. So I'm just offsetting that silver layer. I finally found matte silver cardstock where I am which is very exciting. <laughs> and I just layered that on a little bit offset so I had that blue shadow. And it's not as wide as the shadow die, which I love. I love a wide shadow, but I just didn't want to cover up my flowers too much. And that almost finishes up my card, but of course I had to add a little bit of bling. I'm using the Matte Silver Pearls by Pinkfresh Studio. Uh, because I matched my matte silver cardstock perfectly and that pulls everything together nicely. And what I also love to do is add some bling or some embellishments in between my splatter. When I add splatter and when I add embellishments, I often mix them together. So it almost looks like the embellishments fade into just being paint splatter. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a, I think it's a really nice look. I do it a lot and I really like doing it. It makes the embellishments look a little bit more natural, like they belong on the card. For a matching envelope, I used this green cardstock, this green pattern cardstock that uh, matches my leaves pretty well. I was really surprised how close that color was to the color of cardstock I used for the leaves and I just folded that with the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and glued that together. And that finishes up my project for this inspiration station. I really love doing inspiration station. I love hunting the internet for some fun pictures to base a card off. Um, and I often grab for nature pictures actually. I really, really like just looking for floral photography because they often have really in interesting colors and it's just a lot of fun to spice up your your crafting session. I hope you like my inspiration picture and I hope you like the card I made for it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.